Good morning, Libra friends. Welcome to your October heart spread. Eight card reading. It reads the one that's on your mind, who's in your heart. I'm uh, going to look at you and your person and um, kind of like uh, do astrology too. So kind of think of it as a sinistry too. First six cards. Um, your first house is you and where you're at. And your seventh house is the person you're thinking of and who's on your heart. We get some advice and look at the interaction and then get advice from spirit and relationship as a whole and an outcome. Uh, I think it usually gets to the heart of the matter. So do check out the Soul Family Read. Uh, it's up today too for the 30th and Thursdays, I should say, are always Libra Scorpio Day. And God willing, uh, next month I'll start adding back the Singles Read because I do two signs every day six uh, days a week all signs every week and uh, with the heart spread and we'll do the singles reading too that said if you don't have anyone on your mind and you're totally and completely single this will definitely is going to pick up on who you're thinking of not necessarily who you're with who's in your heart so let's see what we got it's the last day here at my apartment i call it the ivory tower i got smart and reversed everything so that i get to see the beautiful view <laughs> today um, and I'm watching this massive cruise ship park over Cozumel, Mexico, across the uh, water from where I am in Playa del Carmen. Excuse my allergies, dear God, man, there's no end to it. Ah. Mm. Forgive me. I'm just going to keep going because I'm just going to keep doing it. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. Uh, we've got the Three of Pentacles here. Interesting. So I haven't looked. I haven't worked with this Rider Weight deck in a while. Um, so this one um, is the Good Worker card. Still, I'm going to call it. And this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship, where your mind and heart is at. Kind of reading you a little separate from your person, in the number one position, and read your person a little separate from you, just to get a beat on where you're at personally. Um, I look at this as a great way to come in here. Um, grounded and solid to me in this position in the heart spread this speaks to someone that's been doing the work spiritual work shadow work uh, light work however you want to look at it particularly in around relationships so um, in some way you've been examining your relationships uh, you've been you're in a much better position and you're very solid too with the three of pentacles and ready to take action i think because threes are action um and um, um you're in the mood to cooperate too with this here so i mean it's an absolute perfect energy to come into a relationship with and look at your person coming in with the lovers so uh your person that's you're thinking of is on your heart where they're at it, but beyond you before you just in themselves um, they're all about love. I think I'll, I'll forget the Gemini there. Could be. But really, it's just a mindset of someone. This is not someone that's sitting around saying, I'm done with love, and I'm done with men, done with women, I'm just going to get cats, and that's it. You know, this is someone that loves love. You know, they got seventh house sun. They got uh, Venus in the seventh house or something in their astrology. Um, and I get, right off the bat, I get the feeling that this person would really appreciate where you're at. And likely you would be the more grounded one. I mean, they're coming in with this kind of a less grounded energy, uh, more thinking about the other person. I think you've done more work. You're more grounded in yourself. You love yourself. I'm not saying they don't. I Probably you do more. Uh, you're more solid, more grounded. Uh, but yet, I see this as a really good uh, connection so far. I like the way these two cards uh, work together here. Um, let's see how you're feeling about them, though, once you're in the relationship. King of Swords. Okay, I need to see where they're at. Where, do they, where are they at? Queen of Wands. Very interesting. I knew I had to look at them before I made the decision. Um, the overall energy is the Star card. And... Um, it's using the classic Rider weight uh, deck. I'm supposed to move today. We got the time got backed up, so I'm doing my reading. So it's the only deck I didn't pack. I haven't used it in a while. But with the stars, the overall energy, I think we're manifesting here. And you would definitely be the manifester with this Three of Pentacles, you know. And they would definitely be the one you're calling in. I mean, you've called in someone who's looking for love. 
So good job, number one. Um, I think that's an energy of that there. Please do check the Soul Family read because it's kind of a manifestation spirituality read, more than just a love and relationship daily a collective read for whoever resonates. And uh, see if you don't uh, resonate with that, if you're a manifester. Um, now, the King of Swords, you feeling that way towards them, it, it's sometimes a little concern because it can be taking a pretty hard stance with them and feeling like you need to set boundaries with them. Um, but the fact that they're coming in to you, reacting with the Queen of Wands, it's kind of perfect. Um, it, there's a balance here. And um, very much, um, um, you know, you're calling, I mean, you, you could say you're calling in uh, as someone that's similar to you. Um, they're probably, you probably feel they're pretty compat compatible with you. Um, but there's something about the way they react to you and it's, it's not real bad it's like um, you do uh, kind of have to call them out a little bit in terms of boundaries and you being the king and them being the queen you're a little more dominant about it it's not a male female thing um, it's almost like a, a puppy that's young and too rambunctious and you know you don't want to scold the puppy uh, you, but, you know, on the other hand, you, you know, you don't want to knock it over things in the house and breaking things and uh, jumping up on someone, scratching them with, with its paws. It's unintentional. This is a beautiful Queen of uh, Wands energy because this is how they're feeling about you. And if you make them feel like the Queen of Wands and they make you feel like the King of Swords, that's great. You know, I just see there's a little energy there of uh, in terms of the relationship. Um, I think you're kind of... a uh, establishing kind of a dominant role nothing wrong with that uh, relationships are never even um, and uh, typically you know someone's gonna have to take the lead um, if you're making them feel like the Queen of Wands whatever you're doing it's working right now you know that's how I see it um, let's see what your advice is now this is your advice from spirit and I think this is very clear for you here Libra uh, tone it down a little bit okay and the this page is looking away from the reading, back at your manifestation, Three of Pentacles energy. Uh, it's a very solid place to manifest from. I think if you manifest from this energy, you know, you're going to get something in, um, real. Um, and that may be what you have here. Um, but, you know, going from the King of Swords to the Page of Swords and being advice, really think it's like, you know, relax and kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, even there could be, if you think about the word rhetoric, kind of tone down your rhetoric a little bit. Um, there may be uh, some need to kind of let things go here, I think, with, uh, with this energy. And it could be, too, in your own mind. It's not just communication. It's like, think about it. Whatever that they, it is that they do, is it really that annoying? Uh, is it Because, like, here's the thing. Whatever it is... Um, they're just being themselves, and you're you're kind of bringing this on. I'm not saying it's your fault, but it is. Uh, you're making them feel like this queen of wands, and whether they're a fire sign or not, it's not the point. It's like you're bringing in, we all have fire energy in our chart, so you're bringing that out, and you're supposed to bring this out in a new relationship. I always read typically for new relationships uh, dynamic, so um, this is how you're supposed to feel. Um, very passionate, uh, very confident, very outgoing, very outspoken. A little over the top, a little extra. You're supposed to feel a little extra. That's the romance phase. And you got to remember, too, I mean, the guy, they're coming in as lovers. So now they got you, and you're probably, uh, if you're cross-watching, tell me. Please do leave comments and like, share, subscribe. I really need it. Um, you, you're maybe saying to you, to you, Libra, or to your friends, it's like, you know, something like, wow, I really hit the jackpot here with this one. I really, I can't believe I got, like, what I wanted. Like, this person, this Libra is like everything I wanted type of energy. And, you know, you don't want to stomp on that, right? Um, you want to be a little tolerant of that. And look at their, <laughs> their advice from spirit is to pour it on. Um, they may be moving towards you. I do see you as the more solid one. If there's distance, they come to you. Uh, if you're going to move in together or get married or establish a long-term relationship, they're going to probably move into your house. Excuse me. So it also shows uh, coming under the Queen of Wands 
they are all kind of into you. This could even be a little bit uh, with the Queen of Swords. Um, you feel maybe like they're a little bit knocking you off balance, you know, with this Three of Pentacles. You know, it's a great solid energy to act from because it's calm and um, it's everything kind of opposite of a wand energy. And, you know, it, you when you come into a relationship, you know, you could have been in your house, you wake up in the morning, it's quiet, everything just the way you want. And now this person comes and maybe they want to play music in the morning, you know, and they feel happy and they're dancing a little bit and you're kind of like, you know, I'd rather just have it be quiet. Well, this is the kind of thing I think is what's going on with your king and, and um, queen here uh, energy. And so I'm just saying with this page, this is advice from spirit, not me. It's like really kind of think about that and maybe also communicate about it in a very direct, specific way. And, you know, uh, come to some kind of compromise because you're building this relationship. But, man, you know, they're all kind of enthusiastic. Um all kind of sexy. They might be a little younger than you. You might find them to be particularly physically attractive. Um, Libras usually do like uh, beauty. Uh, you might find them to be beautiful, even um, athletic, their body and everything. Um, there's just a level to them that's uh, so much more fire than you. But I, I say this a lot. Um, you brought them in. You'd probably need fire in your life. That's what this is all about. Yeah, it's nice to sit around, kind of can relate. It's nice to sit around and, and be quiet and have that, you know. But, you know, we do need some fire in our life. We need things to, you know, we need that spark. And I think you're definitely getting that spark here with this person. Now, um, Seven of Cups. This is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole for both of you in terms of how to have a good relationship. Um... They're getting the advice towards you to pour it on, you know, and I, it's a little counterintuitive. You might be with this saying, no, I'm kind of trying to tell you, stop pouring it on, you know. Um, so that's what this, um, you guys need a minute for this relationship to gel. Um, and um, it kind of get the sense to maybe, it, you know, we don't have a lot of emotions here. Um, even with the lovers, it's not exactly an emotional uh cards more like air so here we finally have cups and it's in the advice position and it's kind of like coming between this page of swords and the eight of wands and it's like so this is like uh having a talk that, that's kind of emotional and so you guys you know sit down you with your page of swords and you kind of direct me things uh, maybe you know uh, say come here i need to talk to you or let's set up a time and this is going to be an emotional conversation that goes on between you guys. Um, there's probably some things emotionally that it just, because there's not a lot of emotions in your synastry, so the composite is saying, like, you need to bring the emotions to this. Um, and um, it may not be a lot of emotions with it because, I mean, you're in this fiery romance phase. I don't know. And it's just like a lot of sexual energy. That kind of thing. And then with the outcome, it's moving away. I'm going to clarify this. Six of Swords. It's the outcome of the heart spread. And that's coming over the Seven of uh, Cups. So I'm going to go on to the bottom of the deck. And then we've got the Five of Cups coming in. I'm going to clarify this out. Three cards. That's how I do and the four pinnacles and the fool because to me this shows a relationship that's not working so that's what this is all about and why you're feeling the tension um, and when I see a relationship not working I usually clarify it out three cards uh, because uh, the outcome now is really about you Libra here and about learning from this um, experience here and I do think this is about manifestation. And it's like, um, if you look at the Six of Swords over the Seven of Cups, it's like you have this talk I was talking about, it's exactly right, but it doesn't go well. And it basically ends up being like a breakup talk. It may not even start out as a breakup talk, 
Um, and I think breakup would be the last thing on their minds. I think this is coming from your side of it, Libra. Um, but here you are moving away with the Six of Swords in your mind. Uh, but again, emotionally, I mean, you're hurt. You're not a narcissist. You have feelings. So, of course, you're hurt. And then this is about uh, rethinking your strategy for manifestation here. And then you have the Fool. And that's starting over. That's starting over with a new manifestation. And I think that, uh, obviously, to me, in terms of your manifestation, I think maybe it wasn't thought through uh, deeply enough, uh, maybe in enough detail. Um, like, you maybe need, maybe you are a peaceful person, maybe you do need quiet time. And so you need to find someone who's not kind of a party person, um, who's also a little more self-contained, like yourself, okay? Um, and I think that's the lesson you're learning from this. Because with the Four of Pentacles, the building of a long-term, solid relationship or marriage, that's still where you're at. That's still the outcome, you know. But now you've got some grieving to do here, and you're going to get back to it. And I think this is like throwing yourself into it. You may have helped with this energy, too, in terms of manifestation. The only downside is it's very controlled, very contained. So at the same time, you want to be specific about what you want. You got to do the walk away for manifestation, I call it. So once you let the arrow go, uh, just try to forget about it. Whatever it takes, read a book, watch a TV show, uh, take a class, get a life. Just really stop trying to think about it altogether. It's not an easy thing to do, but it is the fool. Because the fool doesn't worry about outcome. It's perfect for manifesting. The fool just jumps off the cliff in complete faith that everything's going to be all right. And very much, too, with this, it means do not let this shake you. This uh, was a learning experience, okay? It was a scientific experiment with a negative and positive uh, confirmation. And you got a negative confirmation, and you're redesigning your experiment, and you're going to really throw yourself into it. Uh, with the fool, I see that from this could probably come success. Like it's Berkeley retrograde, too. Think about that because this is exactly the time. Forget all the electronics and X's, but this is the time where things come to our mind that uh, address huge patterns in our lives mentally and in terms of relationship. This one, and it's in Libra, so it could be banging your son or something. Very important uh, time for you. Um, so I think that as you move forward, um, I'm not going to say you're guaranteed success, but I think there, there's going to be all kind of a recorrection from this and the next time you do this um, I think you're going to get a much uh, better result and probably exactly what you're looking for Libra. Thank you guys.